This is the second section of graphs and transformations on quartic graphs. Now, quartic graphs are a bit like cubic graphs in that they're either U-shaped or N-shaped, maybe with a little bit of funny stuff going on in the middle. So if I have a cubic graph and the coefficient of the X to the power 4 term is positive, I'm going to have like a U-shaped graph. Now, it may be just like a U like this. Or it could be a U where it goes down, it does some odd things in the middle here and carries on going up. If the coefficient of the X to the power 4 term is negative, then we have like an N shaped graph, just like we would with um, quadratics. I don't know if I said cubic, I meant quartic. Uh, so it could be just a plain old N shape like this, or it could be an N shape where there's all sorts of funny stuff going on in the middle. So, you know, you might get something like this and it's going to be the factorizing that tells us um, whether it's going to cross or bounce off the axis. So remember something like this, this would be cross the X axis at A, something like this. This would be bounce at negative B, and then something like this. We've got cubed. That's uh, not a bounce. This actually crosses again. So this will cross at negative C. So here we need to sketch these quartic graphs. So the first one. It's all factorized for us so we can see the roots and the roots are going to be x equals uh, negative 1, negative 2, 1 and 2. No bounces, all crosses. So I draw my axis. I mark these four points on. So um, negative 2, negative 1, 1 and 2. If I were to multiply all of this out, the coefficient of the X to the power 4 term would be positive, which means it's going to start down at the bottom, or it's sorry, it's going to be a U-shaped graph. So it's going to do something like this. So we just need to join the dots. So we start up here, we cross the axis, we cross the axis again, we cross the axis again, and we cross the axis again. And then we get our sort of U shape, looks more like a W. Part B on this question. So I can see that I've got roots at X equals zero from the X on its own. And then from the last bracket, this gives me a root of X equals three. But I can see here the graph is going to bounce at x equals minus 2. So I'll just put bounce x equals minus 2. Then the next thing I need to look at is what would the sign of the quartic be, the sign of the x to the power 4 term. If I multiplied this out, it would be negative. So negative x to the power 4. So it's going to be one of these like N-shaped things. So it's going to do some odd stuff in the middle, but I know it's going to be N-shaped. So we draw our axis like this. We're going to mark these numbers on the axis. So uh, negative 2, 0, and 3. We're going to start down here and then sort of go up and then back down again, making sure that we bounce at negative 2 and then cross the axis at 0 and 3. So we'll just do that. So bounce at negative 2, cross at 0, cross at 3, and there we go. We get our um, graph. Now I suppose I should go back to the first one and work out this point here where it crosses the y-axis. So that's going to be where x equals 0. So if I plug x equals 0 into this, so x equals 0, then I will have y equals 
1 times by 2 times by negative 1 times by negative 2 because all the x's will be zeros and that will give me y equals 4 yeah because I have 2 times by 2 so we'll just mark that down here where it crosses the axis we don't need to do that here because it crosses the y axis at 0 and then the last one um, so I can see that there are two bounces here there's going to be a bounce at x equals 1 and x equals 3 so it's not crossing the axis at all the coefficient of the x to the power 4 term is positive so it's going to be like this u-shaped type graph so we'll just draw our axis we'll mark on the coordinates 1 and 3 and we need to make sure that we don't cross the axis we bounce off the axis so we're going to start up here we'll bounce bounce again and then we have our quartic graph and the last thing we need to do is to work out this coordinate here so again that's where x equals zero so if i plug x equals zero into this i'll get negative one squared times by negative three squared so that's basically going to be one times by nine so we'll get y equals nine so i'll mark that on as nine um, is the coordinate where it crosses the y-axis so you should now be able to do exercise 4b on pages 65 to 66 and a quick recap well all that's needed really is the shape of these uh, quartic graphs either u-shaped if um, the x to the power 4 term its coefficient is positive or n-shaped if the coefficient of the x to the power 4 term is negative.